Welcome back guys. What day is it? It's the day for a new jammer, so I will get directly to the point we have this jammer now. Which I think it was already shared by a couple of guys, but well I needed in my collection to review it, so let's see firstly the pricing. Of course, as usual, I bought only the version for 2.4, but there are also versions available for 5.8 and 5.2. Also, if it's needed for 3.3 or any other version. Just one thing that I, I, I wanted to discuss this, the majority of the gems available are for Wi-Fi frequencies. If you are looking for a 2G, 3G, 4G or anything that it's related to cell phones, well, it's a bit harder to find them. Uh, it's not impossible. Um, I did some research currently in the past days, but I didn't order nothing yet, but stay tuned. We will have some versions available soon. So. Let's see, firstly, 18.25 bucks. It's not a big difference between the frequencies, so it's more or less the same price. We have a video as usual. And in this video, the seller is using an amplifier. So let's see if we need one or not. In the scheme also you can see it's required an amplifier and that's pretty much it let's go below a lot of reviews of course because this one is very popular do we have anything nope is referred to our advertising okay so we have or 2.4 8 dbm mm. it's not a lot 6 dbm for 5.2 and 5.8 if you remember the last one i reviewed this one it was even stronger but i think it's this this one the usb one the newer model purple one is an old one is one of the first jammers that i found online um the input current is the same not included with rf amplifier and antenna well we have this adapter which is cool enough mm -hmm. it's using usb-c perfect Let's see. Let's test it, right? This should be the main focus. Of course, we will build a case for this one as usual, but please keep in mind if you intend to use it um, for a longer time you will need a um, heatsink attached to it because it gets super hot usually i think there are in the review some pictures on people using it with a heatsink uh, you don't have the option to buy it with a heatsink unfortunately so you should be able to find a spare one from another project, maybe from a GPU even. No, there is nothing. But I, I saw some pictures with the uh, it seems, but not here. Let's see the buffer. Uh, two three two five zero eight. As usual for two point four. The PCB reminds me of the first one that I bought. 
couple of years ago. I'm curious if they are still making versions for 2.4, 5.2 and 5.8 as it was that one. Since the, the PCB is kind of similar, it's a different color of course, but it's kind of similar. Oh well, let's see if it works. We have the SME mother. It's called like this. I think. When I was a kid, this is how I called the um, plugs with the hole and the ones with the pin. It was a father one. So, for obvious reasons. I guess we can use the same naming. Yeah. Let's see if it works. Okay. Who knows what we are expecting now? Hmm? Did you guess? A green light, of course. As we are used for this type of chamber. So I will also show you my connection onto the screen, which is 2.4, and we will plug in this chamber. You see the green light, as I said. Lovely light, of course as usual any moment now let's see if something happens i might need to get my amplifiers or not mm, something is happening The signal is weaker now eh? and it's off so it works without an amplifier as well but it's still trying to connect ah, it's out now so it's working but is that as good as the last one i reviewed and if you remember why as we looked onto this description that one had a bigger range and this one now look and we already have connection back so yeah it's a difference for 2.4 for this one we have only 8 dbm for the previous one the smaller one we had 20 so yeah, that should, we should see a noticeable difference. But okay. Well, it works. It's pretty cheap. 18.25. We will build a case for it, of course. Uh, as I said, if you are intending to use it for a longer period, you will need a heatsink attached maybe a cooler if you want to have active cooling um a fan i mean but it works this is the most important thing so we have another one known working for the collection i will be back in the screen with the case uh, at this moment when i'm recording the video i don't have the case finalized i will have it for this video keep in mind also that you'll need the heatsink i won't attach one because i don't intend to use it for long periods it's more for testing purposes whole i'm really glad that i don't need to use such devices i started to learn about such devices and i did a lot of research on them because i had some loud neighbors and if you are wondering how loud well I moved five times in four years because of them. So yeah, it was really unfortunate. So another one to the collection. I will try to review more of these type of jammers in the future. I did order a 20, 20 watt one or 30. I don't, I don't really remember. And a 50 watt one. But guess what happened? since i'm from the european union 
they held it at customs and they opened the package they asked me what's that device i tried to say that it's something else they knew about it and they just held it i know it's not illegal to own one it's illegal only to use one but unfortunately in my country specifically don't face any charges or not even a ticket but you can't sometimes it can't go through customs so you'll lose your money and the item as well because the seller once the item arrives in the country the seller is not responsible for the package only the local carrier is responsible for it so beware before ordering such devices okay i hope you've enjoyed it please subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber and see you in the next one cheers